One, two, three. Time again for Tennessee. Tuxedo and his tail. On the 22nd floor of a large apartment building, events were taking shape that would have a great effect on Tennessee Tuxedo and his pal Chumley. So you won't talk, eh? We'll take that, and that, and this! You ever quit on me again and I'm gonna let you have it? You no good TV set! And at that very moment, Tennessee and Chumley, having escaped from the zoo, were applying for jobs as TV repairmen. Oh, uh, no, why don't you fellas go back to the zoo? I just couldn't hire a penguin and a walrus. But you said in the paper you needed help. Well, that I do, that I do, but a penguin and a walrus? <laughs> no, I just don't know. No, I don't. Uh, hello? Uh, yes, Mr. Mananoff, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y yes, I know we fixed it last week, but... Oh, no, I couldn't send anyone over right now, Mr. Mananoff. Oh, we just don't have enough men. No, I'm I'm sorry. I, I just couldn't. Listen, boo-boo. I want to watch the ball game at 2 o'clock, and I want this set fixed. Like immediate. Either you come over here and fix the set, or I come over there and fix you. Understand? Uh, e yes, Mr. Mananoff. E yes, indeed. I'll send someone over right away. Well, I've got no choice, I guess. Here are the toolkits, and here is the address. You won't regret this, you'll see. Tennessee Tuxedo will not fail. I hope not, for your sake. Let's go, Chumley. Well, here we are. Now we're going to break into the TV business. Yeah. Television repairman. In here. Now, what seems to be the matter with your set here? Listen, if I knew what was the matter, I wouldn't have called you. Now pay careful attention. I'm going out on a little job, see? But I'm coming back at 2 o'clock, and I want that set fixed. Uh, sure, sure, but uh, sometimes it takes Look, little... I want to watch the ball game at 2 o'clock. And if that set is not working when I get back, I'm going to play you two goose a tune on my violin. Ah! Gee, Tennessee, what are we going to do now, huh? Do? Do? Why, we're going to fix that TV set. Uh, but we don't know how to. Do we? Nothing to it, Chumley. Just turn a few dials, press a few buttons, check the antenna. Come on. Where are we going? We're going to the roof and check the antenna. I always like to start at the top. All right, Chumley, there it is. Now, up you go. Uh, who, me? Yes, you. Now go up and see if anything's wrong. Can you see anything? Uh, yeah, I can see the park and the zoo and over there with... Be careful, Chumley! But it was too late as Chumley's great weight slowly bent the antenna. I can't look. Oops, goodbye, Tennessee. Tennessee? Goodbye, Tennessee. Hello, Tennessee. Goodbye, Tennessee. Hello, Tennessee. Get me here, Chumley. Now, if you're through with that ridiculous trampoline act, we'll get to work. But try as they might, they couldn't seem to get the set fixed. Uh, maybe it's time we went to see the man with all the answers. Good idea, Chumley, and we'd better hurry. Hello, boys. Hi, Mr. Whoopi. I've got a riddle for the three-dimensional blackboard. The 3D BB knows all. Okay. 
What has four legs and one foot? Oh, that's easy. Why, a bed, of course. Meanwhile, down at police headquarters... What? That pesky penguin and walrus have escaped again? Well, I'll get right on the case. Don't worry, Mr. Livingston. I'll find them. Meanwhile, at the office of Phineas J. Whoopi, Tennessee explained the predicament. So you see, Mr. Whoopi, we've got to get that set fixed or Mr. Malinoff's going to play us a tune on a spittle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we can't let that happen, can we? So let's see if we can't get a clear picture. <laughs> yes. Uh, are you going to use the 3D BB? But of course, of course, my boy. And I've got something else, too. I've got the real thing. A TV set? Yes. And a TV camera, too. So you can see how it all works from start to finish. Phineas J. Whoopi, you're the greatest. Of course, of course. Yep. Uh, now let's see what we have here on the fabulous three-dimensional blackboard. This is a television camera. On the front, it has a lens just like a regular camera. But inside, ah, uh, it's very different. Inside, instead of film, there's a long electron tube called an orthicon. The orthicon takes what the lens sees and turns it into electric current, which is called a picture signal. This picture signal is sent over a cable to the transmitter, where it is turned into waves and whoopee! It's sent over the air to your set. Uh, could you show us on the real camera, Mr. Whoopi? But of course, my boy, of course. I'll turn the camera on Chumley, and you turn on the set. Can you see him now? Perfect. Well, don't just stand there, Chumley. Do something. You're on TV. Uh, I will now perform a military tap. A smash! <laughs> but there's still something I don't understand, Mr. Whoopi. Well, what's that, my boy? I looked real close, and I didn't see any picture going across the room between the camera and the TV set. <laughs> but of course you didn't. There wasn't any picture, just electromagnetic waves which are invisible. But then how... How does it get to be a picture again? Well, let's go back to the 3D BB. Inside every TV set, there's a big tube. You call it a picture tube. But the correct name is cathode ray tube. It takes the waves from the transmitter and turns them back into electrons. In the back of this tube, there's an electron gun which shoots the electrons at the front of the tube. <laughs> the front of the tube is coated with a special chemical which lights up when the electrons hit it. And this is what makes the picture. I get it. The orthicon tube turns the picture into electrons, and the cathode ray tube turns the electrons back into the picture. Precisely, my boy. Then, uh, uh, just how are we going to fix Mr. Malinoff's TV set? You aren't. I want you to promise me never, never, never monkey around with the back of a TV set. That's a job for experts only. It's very dangerous, and you could get badly hurt. All right, we promise. But we're really in a spot. If we don't get Malinoff's set fixed, he'll fix us. Well, my boy, I'll fix it for you. You go over and get the set and bring it over here, and I'll have it working in no time. Phineas J. Whoopi, you're the greatest. Soon, Tennessee and Chumley were back with Malinoff's TV set, and Mr. Whoopi went to work. We've got to hurry, Mr. Whoopi. It's almost 2 o'clock, and Mr. Malinoff is probably finishing up his job right now. Yes, Manonoff was finishing up his job at the First National Bank. Okay, you guys. Just put all the dough in the sack and don't try nothing funny. Meanwhile, on the police radio... Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Go to the First National Bank. Big robbery taking place. And at that very moment, Tennessee and Chumley, unaware of the sudden turn of events, left Mr. Whoopies with the repaired TV set and hurried along the street. Faster, Chumley, faster! Now, isn't that a pretty picture? All right, boys, take them away. 
And while we're at it, we'll drop off this TV set at the zoo. Wait till Stanley Livingston catches this act. Chumley, this is not what I meant by breaking into television. Tennessee and Chumley will be right back with more cartoon fun.